people of the eastern outer islands have always attracted sharks to catch this way. Europeans established the first colony of Solomon Islands here in 1595. Since the settlement of Alvaro de Mendana, European influence has caused many ancient customs to be neglected. Here at Taumako, Taf Islands, the people are making a canoe for the Solomon Islands Museum. In the past, these tepuke canoes were only made here, and they were sold to other islands. When finished, this canoe will be sold to Honiara to be on public display. We live from Mikavea, we see Philong Taumak. This fellow can you? We follow Mekepo, put the Gongolo Honiara. Look at the look, 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 I got a big money make him, everyone I finish. All right, me fella this time here. For she take me fella make him, me fella walk him, me fella take him below 7 degrees for 1958. All right, another one finish, him in no good finish now. All right, this one, me fella this is start to go make him. Why me fella sell him? No, all money, let me feed him uh, 600 pounds. Me no, me no serving good. I think it's like fourteen dollars something or something. But the brush below him now, same six hundred pounds. We got see this one. We plant the money now. Look at him make him. Now he me hardy too. He me strong as three two. Me fall and make him. Henry Moniaco from Santa Cruz is sixty-two years old. He is one of the last people who can make feather money. This ancient form of currency, unique to this area, is today still used for bright price. Red feathers from the mangoa or udo bird are glued onto pieces of bark. A live bird is used as decoy to catch small birds. Henry Moniaco imitates the bird call. A bird will come and be caught when it lands on a branch covered with glue. Only the bright red feathers from the bird's chest are removed. The bird is set free to grow more feathers before being caught again. <laughs> The feather money is made up to lengths of 12 feet. Several of these could be required to buy a bride. Today, this old currency is valued highly by museums and collectors all over the world. <laughs> 